Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Wednesday. Welcome to Stock Market Today. Alyssa Corum and Justin Nielsen here to break down the market action for today's session. And we have three stocks, Justin, that we want to get to with some actionable opportunities today. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and be sponsored by the letter F today. Uh, taking a look at Ford and Futu Holdings and then ending it up with Five Below. Justin, it's almost like you do that on purpose. <laughs> sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes. there's so many to choose from. Sometimes it's uh, easier to go thematic, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, we like to have fun with it. Here's a look at the NASDAQ in a mixed session today, finishing up about one tenth of a percent. We also had the Russell 2000 up three tenths of a percent uh, for the day. On the downside, the S&P 500 down one tenth of a percent and the Dow down two tenths of a percent. But all in all, uh, it seems like underneath the surface, we're seeing a lot of really compelling moves. Yeah, and it, it's it's weird how our our focus has definitely shifted right back over to the Nasdaq. You know, for so long it was like, oh, let's talk about the S and P five hundred and the Dow Jones Industrial Average because that's where the strength was. But now that the Nasdaq has reestablished itself above that fourteen thousand level, it's gotten to new highs. It's maintained itself above there for a few days now, uh, much longer than it had back in February and April. Our focuses right back there on the NASDAQ. Now, that's not to say that there isn't some action that's still worth um, taking a look at mm -hmm. on the S&P 500, for instance, you know, and the, and the mid cap, uh, the, the small cap, excuse me, right. um, you take a look at IWM, you know, the bounce that it's had uh, off of its 50 day moving average line, that's continuing to get some traction, it was actually up the most today of mm -hmm. the four major indexes, um, about a half a percent, uh, I think is what I what I was showing, or a little bit less than that at, at the end. Uh, so financials are one of the things that's helping out there. Um, you still have energy acting, you know, acting very well, a lot of stocks in, in that area, you know, we talked about CPE uh, on the Monday show. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, today, um, XLY, which, you know, that's, that's a ETF that uh, covers the, you know, consumer stocks. Uh, and, you know, you have Ford in there, you have Tesla in there. That was definitely the uh, big leader uh, today. And again, you just see, seem to see a lot more of the NASDAQ growth related type stocks uh, that are catching our attention and the index is looking much, much stronger. Right. And speaking of Ford and Tesla, both of those stocks with strong moves today, Ford up 3.4%. And this is playing out, at least as of right now, Justin, exactly how we expected with a pullback here in an orderly fashion to the 21 day moving average, getting support where we wanted it to and clearing this trend line. Yeah. And so I, I do own shares of this myself. Uh, in fact, I talked about that on the IBD live show Monday morning. Uh, that's actually when I entered back into the position. I was surprised. Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't realize I had gotten rid of it. You know? <laughs> but um, so I, I did I did put it there. Uh, Swing Trader also put it on on Monday. But what we're seeing here is it, it's this break of the downtrend. And, you know, it's one of those things where we're seeing Ford is not alone. You see Tesla's action, you know, that's improving. You see a lot of the EV makers, uh, a lot of the Chinese ones that are looking much stronger. And of course, you know, you don't think of Ford as necessarily an EV play, but you know, their Ford uh, Mustang. Huge investments. Even, yes, in huge that investments area. in that area. And the, the Ford Mustang, their electronic, uh, their EV version is getting a lot of, uh, what, what is that called? The Mach-E? Um, you know, yeah, that's Mach getting a e lot of attention. And, but yeah, they're coming out with the Lightning, their F-150 The F-150, EV. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely a big play there. And, you know, it, again, it's General Motors. Uh, a lot of the big automakers are shifting that way. And they're, they're starting to make promises of when they're going to be kind of getting the internal combustions, um, you know, to a lower ratio and the EVs uh, at a much higher ratio. Mm -hmm. So uh, a strong storyline there, which is really the announcement of the uh, F-150 Lightning, along with uh, news that they are just going to be investing so much into electric vehicles, really helping spark this move, uh, helping them shake off some of those chip shortage woes. Right. Yeah. So uh, I had a great opportunity here today. And just on and the technical side, you know, one thing to just be aware of, this pullback was very nice and orderly. You know, it, okay. it held up pretty well. Um, you know, when you get a 20% move, if it had round tripped all the way back, that would have made me a little suspicious. But the fact that it was a nice orderly pullback, the volume, you could see that was drying up. There was one spike uh, in, in there, but uh, other than that, the volume was pretty mild throughout that entire pullback, especially when you compare it to that huge mm -hmm. volume that was coming in on the upside and actually today as well. That was some yep. very nice volume that we saw. So when you get that 
you know, if, if you're going to be looking at the scales of balancing, you've got a lot of positive volume on there as opposed to the negative volume that you're seeing. Great point there, Justin. And shifting gears to take a look at FUTU, which we've been talking about in recent weeks, seeing more interest in this stock too from uh, our IBD Live Q&A, but FUTU gaining 5.7% today, Justin, clearing this uh, trading range that it's been sticking to for the last couple of weeks, around 150, although not a super tight range. Yeah, <laughs> tight, tight-ish for FUTU. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, th th now look, this is a stock that went from over 200 down to 100, a 50% mm -hmm. drop, you know? And so what we look for, if we see something like that, we do want to see some tighter action. And I would say that over the last couple of weeks, this would qualify as, you know, again, relatively tighter action. Um, the, the relative strength line is looking much stronger and sure it's well off of its highs, but look, we're still, you know, well off the highs in terms of price, 16, 17% off the highs. So uh, the, the fact that the relative strength line is looking so strong is, I think, a positive. It doesn't have to get all the way back to those old highs. But one thing I would caution people, now look, there's a lot of risk on plays that are you know, looking mm -hmm. very strong. We've been talking a lot about those on IBD Live. But one thing, if you just go to that related information on your MarketSmith chart, and if you take a look at the ownership, oh, there's not really any of our IBD mutual fund indexes in there. So um, you know, that's something that you just have to be aware of. It might be worth going mm -hmm. to the show fund ownership, maybe do a little bit of digging right. deeper to see if there's anyone in there that is compelling. But you know, the fact that that box is showing up blank uh, that's one mm -hmm. thing that is a strike against I'm it. I'm against it, especially yeah. with it being a China-based company, to put yeah, it plainly, that, <laughs> it's, there's an added risk there. Yeah, and, and it's just something that we've seen before. I mean, how how excited were we all about luck and coffee and the yeah. movement there? And then, boom, blow up. You know, So you do have to be careful. And sometimes uh, having that extra level of sponsorship where you've got those big guys that have kicked the tires a little bit more on it, have done their due diligence, uh, it's mm -hmm. nice to see that they're they're in there as well because they have a lot of resources to devote to, the, to that due diligence phase. Right. And five below, ticker F-I-V-E. Got to check in on a retailer uh, because yeah. we've, we've been seeing strength in that area. So five below retaking its 50-day line in yesterday's session and extending its gains today. Yeah, a lot of strength in retail. Uh, Ed was, you know, you and Ed were talking about American Eagle Outfitter yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. Five Below is just another one. You know, I, here again, you know, you've got the relative strength line that is not at new highs, but again, this has still got some room underneath its underneath its highs. So it did spend quite a bit of time under that 50-day moving average line, a few weeks, but now it's getting above it. So the question is, I think the next obstacle is, can it get above that 200 level? Um, that's going to be an important line in the sand. You could do an early entry here, maybe. Um, I, I don't see much volume coming in yet. So that's one of the things that uh, shied me away from doing this myself. I would have liked to see some heavier volume come in. Right. Uh, at, you know, this is some pretty strong price movement here. So uh, you, you could draw a line in the sand at 200 or just draw it, you know, at those old highs where you see on pattern recognition. And that, mm -hmm. I, I like to put my alert sometimes a little bit lower just so it's something that jumps on my radar again so I can be watching the action as it gets close to the, those um, previous highs. Um, but again, retail is an area that we're seeing a lot of strength in, a lot of setups. So this is just one more to kind of keep your eye on. Yes, it is. All right, Justin. Well, I know you have a podcast episode you got to go record. So make sure to check that out when it drops tomorrow at investors.com slash podcast. Really looking forward to that. And we will also see you back tomorrow morning on IBD Live, your daily morning live stream where we're sharing our screens, talking about trade ideas, portfolio management strategies, and options with guests like John Jarian, right. who that was, was great today. <laughs> yeah, who is on today's show. And we have more special guests coming up next week. So make sure you watch investors.com slash IBD live. We'll see you there.